All right, so for this meta team right here, I have two of the lower tier tier one pets. They're both tier one, but they're not as good as the other tier one pets. But they're still pretty damn good. And then I have a Sporling Sprout. The Sporling Sprout is a pretty high level tier two pet, but he's just not good enough to be considered tier one. So, I, so that's kind of like, you know, a low tier. That, that's like the, the team is about. Uh, anyways, Bronze Wellplane, he's fast and he has two abilities that are really good if you're faster than your opponent. Crystal Prison will give you two guaranteed extra attacks if you're faster than your opponent. And Liftoff can just be used to dodge abilities, really nilly. You also want to use it off cooldown. After you've used Crystal Prison, that way it gives you one extra turn of allowing Crystal Prison to come off cooldown. And then of course Arcane Slash, it just does extra damage if you go first. Uh, Tell Sweep does extra damage if you go second. I really wish he just had a normal basic attack, because it's either uh, go first, do extra damage, or go second, do extra damage. There's no in-between, because they both have a pretty low end, so. Obviously, you're trying to be faster than your opponent with Bronze Welpling, so Arcane Slash is the way to go. Uh, Spirit Crab, uh, I usually just like to take Surge and Shell Shield, and for the first option, I just take Amplify Magic over Snap, because I want him to be a viable Terror Claw Hatchling Destroyer. Uh, because when the Terracle Hatching goes for a dodge, you can just throw up Amplify Magic or Shell Shield. And Shell Shield really reduces the damage of Alpha Strike or other multi-turn moves or dots. And uh, since Surge is a priority move and Aquatic type, it really hurts Terracle Hatching when it has its dot up. I mean, it's hot. That heals it. Uh, it's also just pretty good against everything else. You can also just use Amplify Magic during a Undead's turn of immunity. But you never want to just use Amplify Magic and then go into two Surges because you might as well just use three Surges instead. Amplify Magic's only really good if you can't hit them that turn. And it is pretty good if you can't hit them that turn. And then the Sporling Sprout, uh, I just went for Charge for having more priority moves. And it did help me out against one team that was a lot faster than me. So that works out well, but usually Jab is the better option just so he hits really hard because I'm going with the Power Power type. Uh, just to see how it works. Usually the health type, HH, is the better one because he heals for the most. Since Swirling Sprout is all about healing through his racial. But I thought he'd heal up a little bit more with Leech Seed anyway if he went power power and he'd be able to kill stuff a lot of bit faster. Uh, and I'm still kind of in the air. It's like, is the HH or the power power one better? They're both pretty good, but they're both pretty good for different reasons. Uh, so yeah. Oh shit, son. How am I supposed to fight the fiendish imp? And two of them at that. I know, I'm just gonna surge him to death. Get rid of his speed advantage with surge. <laughs> oh, you silly willy. Uh, Ryder is actually terrible against this. Damn it. This guy is way better. All right, just gonna throw up Crouch. If he's going to go into a second Fiendish Imp and then switch me out again, I don't have time to use Leech Seed. Crap, I have two pets on this team that are perfectly fine for this. And they keep switching me into fucking Ryder. Ugh. Should I go for the stun first so I can switch out? I'm trying to think, unless I go first, it's not really a free switch. It's just taking one extra turn to do shit. So I'm just going to switch back into Heal Scream and hope it stops switching back into the Bronze Well Plane because he's useless. Ah, oh, come on. Now the Fire Beetle's coming out. Well, whatever. Hmm, I didn't really think this through. I just assumed I'd probably lose since he has two Fiendish Imps. But I have two pets with the priority move. Um... Crap, Bronze Welpling would actually be pretty good against the Fire Beetle, since he's not good against everyone else. Ooh, outspeeded. Oh, he's gonna try to just keep switching me out while refreshing Immolation. Well, the way to stop that is just to keep on attacking. Alright, looks like I'm not gonna switch out this time around. I'm just gonna go straight into Fly. He's probably just gonna refresh his Immolation and then switch out. He'll take a little bit of damage. I won't take any damage. He won't be able to heal up for the turn. He's going to switch into his other imp who's going to get hit. Then he'll switch me out. 
into one of my other pets who have a priority move. And I don't have to worry about switching my own pets up. Alright. And is he just going to switch out again? Probably. Let's throw up Shell Shield. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to go into Immolation. <laughs> and then go into my priority move of Surge and just spam that. Even though it doesn't hit very hard. And I'd much rather have Hill's uh, Rider out for the Fire Beetle, but I still might be able to kill him. Since I'm strong against Scorched Earth, uh, I actually don't take very much damage from Flank thanks to Shell Shield, and I don't take any damage from his backline, so they're not healing. Ooh, that hurt a little bit more than I thought it would. Isn't that right, Harry Potter? Good job, Harry Potter. This is why you're a tier one pet. <laughs> they got no heals in the back line. <laughs> no heals for you. All right, now I know he's just gonna go into immolation, so I'm gonna go for another lift off because it's the da highest damaging move I can do. Since Arcane Slash uh, relies on me being faster than my opponent, so I'm not faster than Fiendish Imp. Fiendish Imp is pretty damn fast. Alright, now let's go for Arcane Slash. Oh, he's just gonna switch me out. He should've just went for a burn and then used his switch out on my next guy. Alright, now let's go into Shell Shield to completely stop the damage. There we go. Wait, did he still heal? Oh yeah, he attacked with burn that turn. Of course he would heal up. His backline pet's not healing up though. <laughs> And if he can't switch me out, Heal Scream can actually match him one-on-one, -on -one, since he has more heals. Alright, come on, more Surge! A switch out on my death is actually pretty bad. But, it looks like he didn't do it. He didn't chance it. Alright, one more Surge! You got it! Oh shit, I'm gonna come out of this with a win. Oh, Heal Scream, good job! Good job with those priority moves. Looks like he's a little bit faster. I should be able to survive one Leech Seed, and then I can just go for a charge. Since the Leech Seed will give me a nice little heal. Yep, I win. <laughs> oh, damn. Feels great. That was a pretty big heal. Alright. Well, that was a tough win. I kind of played it badly at the start, but I think I kind of figured it out after a while. What happens when you're rusty with pet battles? Um, alright, so I could go for the Bronze Dragon to just dodge all of his abilities. Or I can just go into my Spirit Crab and just make his abilities null and void. I think I'll do that. I know what he's going to do. He's going to go straight into Curse of Doom and then Haunt. Or he'll switch out. I'm just going to count on the fact that he's not going to try that. And I could go for a Surge for some extra damage, or use his turn to use an Amplify Magic for some extra damage on the two pets that are about to come out next. Nice. Oh shit. <laughs> Crit. I know I'm not going to take no damage since he's a undead and not an aquatic type. That's not really a big deal. Oh wow, he's smart. He didn't go into Clockwork Gnome. Figured out Build Torrent wouldn't do anything to me. Oh shit, he's gonna go for a Prowl Feed combo. That's gonna hurt. He's gonna heal up all the way, completely negating all of my amplified magic of damage. Oh, that hurts. That makes me sad. Oh shit. That really hurt. I just lost a pet for nothing. Man, that was actually pretty smart. And now he's going into his Clockwork Gnome, which means I'm going to go into my Sporling Sprout next. Since that's where my type advantage lies. Sporling Sprout should be able to outplay his Clockwork Gnome. That's about it. I don't know, maybe Zufu as well. But Zufu has some really nice heals. And I don't really have a way to dodge him besides going into Bronze Whelpling. Hmm, 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 hmm. Should I go into Crouch? Yeah. The thing is, if he switches into his Unborn Valk, I'm gonna have to switch out right away, so I'm kind of hesitant with using Crouch. 
committing to it like that. But it looks like he's going to try to fight me with his Clockwork Gnome. Which is to my advantage. Since I should be able to just outplay him. Everybody always underestimates the amount that the Sporling Sprout can heal for. Despite having one shitty heal. Alright. I'm actually taking a lot of damage. Holy crap, this guy. He knows my strategy. He knows exactly what I'm doing. He's not dumb. He goes for railguns at points where he knows I'm not going to use my charge. How did he know I was using charge? He didn't use a single blitz when I was about to use a charge. He only used railgun, which is pretty smart. Alright, let's switch out. I can't face him. Oh, he went straight for damage, huh? Well, that's fine. I probably won't be able to kill him, but I should be able to do a lot of damage to him. There's attack number one. And lift off. Oh, he's just going for shadow shocks, huh? Will I be able to kill him right here? I should be able to with my arcane slash. And I have one turn on my thing. I just have to live one more turn. Come on, live one more turn. Don't die, don't die. You have to live. Whew. That was lucky. <laughs> yeah, two abilities hit on the low end. Okay, well, I got a nice attack damage right here. Let's go for it. Aw, oh, he attacked me. That's too bad. Alright, heal scream. You can do this. Is he gonna go straight for the for the feed? Yes, that's exactly what he's gonna do. Am I gonna have to do a war of attrition with him? Especially since charge sucks against him. I don't know. I I don't think I can win this unless I get really lucky with those spirit claws. And he crits. I was going to say, unless I get really lucky and he misses a couple of spirit claws in a row, but that didn't happen. 